So over the weekend, Rick Perry was asked by Parade Magazine, a magazine devoted completely to parades, if he believed President Obama was born in the U.S. His answer? I have no reason to think otherwise. Hmm. And when the interviewer said, but you've seen his birth certificate, Perry replied, I don't know. Have I? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Perry went on to say, I had dinner with Donald Trump. Who hasn't the other night? He doesn't think it's real. I don't have any idea. It doesn't matter. Obama is the president of the United States. He's elected. It's a distractive issue. Interesting use of the were distractive. So then on Tuesday, Perry was asked by the New York Times why he was keeping the birther issue alive. He responded, it's a good issue to keep alive. You know, Donald has got to have some fun. He has since called the whole thing a distraction once again, especially given that on Tuesday he introduced his tax plan called Cut, Balance and Grow, which he claims will do all of that to the budget by 2020. Assuming, of course, the aliens from Santar haven't destroyed our civilization by then. Why did I say that? The plan would let you continue to file the old way or choose a simpler method of paying a 20% flat rate. Here's how he explains it. The size of the current code is more than 72,000 pages. That's represented by this pallet right over here and the, and the reams of paper. That's what the current tax code looks like. The best representation of my plan is is this postcard that this is the size of what we're talking about i think that was my prescription for vicodin <laughs> anyway you're supposed to pick it up uh so what does clapping robot hands think of all this <laughs> You know, you can't call yourself a robot if it's just the hands. Call me when you get a trunk. Thank you. You know? That's the best part. Yeah, I know. The trunk. The Ugh. robot trunk. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Jonah, how pissed off do you think Perry's advisors are that as he's, you know, unrolling his tax plan, he just throws out the birther thing? I think that they're been pissed off with him for a long time. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, Perry, uh, he seems determined to sabotage his campaign almost as much as Herman Cain does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it helps Herman Cain. Yeah, that's true. It helps Herman Cain, and we're going to see those clapping robot hands in the next Herman Cain ad any day now. That's true. Um, and, uh, Perry has this, uh, has this weird thing where he thinks he's running for the president of Texas. Yeah. And everything he does comes out as if he's trying to lock down the hardcore right-wing mm -hmm. vote in Texas, and yeah. the other 49 states can just go to hell. Wow, I kind of like that about him because it'd be cool to be president of Texas and stuff. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Jesse, in the green room, I was really surprised when you said to me how proud you were of Perry for not giving up on the birther fight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I said that at all. Did you hear me say that? We all heard you. Bill, Maybe you heard him. Yeah, are you kidding me? Maybe you were distracted by the pastel in your own sweater because you look sort of like a sex offender who was told to start knocking on doors the, on Easter Sunday. You guys need to get a room. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, the question, <laughs> yeah. the question uh, again. Was, what was thinking about getting a room. Uh, I don't know. Something about Donald Trump being a. <laughs> I think that was. <laughs> yeah. And if it wasn't, I'm mentioning it because. Uh, Leanne, what do you make of his plan? You know, I don't. I don't mind it. I think you know when. What is it like? Forty-seven percent of Americans don't pay tax to begin mm. with. I think a flat tax is probably a good option if it really can be done on a postcard. Because that is one thing that annoys me: is that how much money I pay to tax people to prepare your taxes and all of the codes. And every year it seems to be different, and they seem to charge me more money because they're like, "Oh, the government changed a few things this year, and they add on a couple other hundred dollars to, to finish your tax." I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean, there's always seems to be tons of paperwork, and that annoys me. Yeah. If they could simplify our tax system. I would love that. You know, Bill, you must love this system because you collect postcards, mainly of shirtless men from the 1950s <laughs> lifting medicine balls on the beach. <laughs> they were, uh, they were, uh, you know, gym, pa gym instructional pamphlets oh, back really? in the day. I love vintage. You vintage do love vintage. vintage. Right. Yeah. You know, you I'm do. a collector. Does it bother you that when you're looking at them, they're all probably dead? Oh, because it's heartbreaking. <laughs> but I like to think about what they're doing in heaven now, or some believe hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah perhaps. Um, now, we also said it's fun to poke them a little bit and say, hey, 
let's see your grades and let's see your birth certificate. <laughs> it's fun to poke our president. <laughs> and this is reason 592 why this guy is no longer a viable candidate. If you don't believe me on this, see his thoughts on the Confederate flag. <laughs> oh you know, the, I, think he, I think he does have a problem where he just. You know, he's unveiling this plan today, which may, may gain some traction and maybe be a second coming of, of, of Rick Perry. But then he can't shut up about a little point like yeah. this where you're going, oh, if you just maybe didn't say that. It's like, who cares? The point is moot. I mean, I like his, I like his plan a lot. I, oh, I really yeah. do. I like but his plan. Like, but, but saying the thing about the joking about the birther and joking about, you know. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the reason why this happened. He had dinner with Trump, and Trump can't shut up about this birther stuff. Right. So it's like it, it somehow subliminally <laughs> got stuck in Perry's head, and it's like you got to blame Trump for this. Trump was sitting there, like you know that if Perry was talking about it, there was nothing else discussed at the table but birtherism, because you know that's all Trump was probably going on and on and on about. And then Perry's like going, ah, and then he walked out. It's the first thing he thought of. Right. Yeah, but what does it say about a guy running for president of the United States if he doesn't have the discipline to reject yeah. the mental waves coming from Donald Trump? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a good point. You never saw Dennis Rodman after this appearance on his game show coming out. I got to tell you, it. though, I did meet him when I was getting an award from the VFW in San Antonio last month. And he really is a, I mean, he's very charismatic and, and a good looking guy and shakes your hand. You know, he really seemed not politician, but I really liked him in person. He well, was I like, I like, really I great like, guy. Wait, wait, no, just clarify. Liam was talking about Rick Perry. Yeah, not like Donald Trump is yeah, a no, no, no. soulless <laughs> robot with a dead colored Definitely raccoon Perry. on his head. Like, that is not a like raccoon that was dyed the same time that your sweater was. Like, oh. that is, <laughs> it's true. No, I, yeah, I will say I, I'm a, I think the plan I find the plan refreshing. Uh, it, I, it's what I look for in a plan, uh, having not read it. But anyway, no. But the only problem is the fact that I that it's an option bothers me because if you're an option, then you're going to do you, you're not going to know which one to do, or you're going to do both of them anyway. I'll shut up and move to the tease. Do you have a comment on the show? Email us. It's redeye at foxnews.com. I'll keep clenching my hands like this, and leave a voicemail on my direct line two one two four six two five zero five zero. Still to come, the halftime report from TV's Andy Levy. Great. Jerk. <laughs> Tonight's halftime report is sponsored by White Wombats, those rare, short, burrowing marsupials with a stumpy tail and a wide, blunt nose. Thanks, White Wombats.